welcome to the 100th video by Institute of Quality and Reliability. Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. General Full Factorial and Computer Generated Optimal Designs. In this video, we will illustrate how to create a general full factorial design GFFD in Minitab. We will then recall concept of degrees of freedom, the available degrees of freedom and how these are utilized in an experimental design, the number of runs required for main effects and two factor interactions based on the degrees of freedom required, creating the optimal designs from general full factorial designs in Minitab. Comparison of the optimal and classical designs. It is better that you watch our previous videos on design of experiment if you are not familiar with the design of experiment concepts. I have shown four videos here and the links of some of these videos are shown in the description. We also need to understand the degrees of freedom concepts, available degrees of freedom and utilized degrees of freedom in the context of design of experiments. I will now show a portion of our previous video on the degrees of freedom. Viewers can watch this complete video if they are not familiar with the concept. Link to this video is provided in the description of this video. Degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is number of independent comparisons that can be made from the data points. If there are three data points, for example, 8, 5 and 4, then we can have two independent comparisons. The third comparison is not independent. Therefore, we can say that the degrees of freedom is n minus 1. In general, let us say that we have three numbers a, b and c. So the first comparison between a and b will be a minus b. The comparison between b and c will be b minus c. Now if we add the two comparisons, b gets cancelled and we automatically get the third comparison a minus c which obviously is not independent. Therefore, the degrees of freedom for the three numbers a, b and c would be 2. Thus, when we know a minus b and b minus c, a minus c is no more independent as b gets cancelled. Let us see a simple illustration. Consider that we wish to divide a 100 cm long bar into two pieces. Obviously, we have a freedom to choose length x of any one of the pieces. The length of the other piece is automatically decided at 100 minus x. Similarly, if we want to divide the bar into three pieces, we will have freedom to choose lengths of two pieces. Extending the logic to divide the bar into n number of pieces, we will have freedom to decide length of n minus one number of pieces and that is the degrees of freedom for n data points. Therefore, to conclude, we can say that degrees of freedom for n data points is n minus 1. Sometimes, we need to try more than two factor levels for some or all the factors. Consider one factor at four levels and two factors at three levels each. The number of runs in this general full factorial design will be 4 into 3 into 3 that is 36. We will illustrate how to create this design in Minitab software. Let us now create a general full factorial design in Minitab with 3, 3 and 4 levels of factors. We click on stat, DOE, factorial, Create factorial design. We choose general full factorial design. Number of factors is 3. In display available designs, it shows that general full factorial designs have 2 to 15 factors and number of runs is limited to 1 lakh. 
10 to the power 5. Thus, there is no catalog of available designs because each factor must have at least two levels and at most 100 levels, but the number of levels can be different for each factors. So, no catalog of standard designs is available for general full factorial designs. We click on designs. For factor A, we add three levels, factor B, three levels, and factor C, four levels. Number of replicates is one. There are no blocks. In options, we leave it to the default to randomize runs and store design in the worksheet. Minitab has created the general full factorial design in, in the worksheet and the details of this design are stated in the session window. Factors are 3, base runs are 36. The number of runs will be multiplication of the individual levels of factors that is 3 into 3 into 4 which is 36. Number of levels are indicated below. In the worksheet, we will see the design generated by Minitab with 36 runs. It is listed in random order. We can change the listing of the design in standard order by clicking stat, DOE, display design and click on the standard order of the design. So now it is listed in standard order. The runs remain same of course. So this is the way Minitab can create the general full factorial design. Let us understand how many degrees of freedom are available in this design and how these are utilized. The levels of factor A, B, C are 3, 3 and 4 respectively. So total number of runs in the experiment is 36. So total available degrees of freedom is 36 minus 1. That is 35. Degrees of freedom of main effects of A, B and C will be 1 less than the factor levels. So for A it will be 3 minus 1. For B also it will be 3 minus 1 and for C it will be 4 minus 1. These are the degrees of freedom required to estimate the main effects of factors A, B and C. Now let us understand the degrees of freedom required for the estimation of two factor interactions. For A into B interaction we will need 2 into 2 which is the degrees of freedom of A and B. Similarly, for B into C interaction, it will be 2 into 3 and for A into C interaction, it will be again 2 into 3. Now, let us understand the three factor interaction. For this, the degrees of freedom required will be multiplication of the levels of factors A, B and C. So, 2 into 2 into 3 and that equals 12. As we can see, the estimation of main effect will require 2 plus 2 plus 3 that is equal to 7 degrees of freedom. Similarly, two factor interactions will require 16 degrees of freedom. Therefore, the total degrees of freedom required to estimate main effects, two factor interactions and three factor interactions will be equal to 7 plus 16 plus 12 and that equals 35. So we have 35 degrees of freedom available and 35 degrees of freedom utilized. But the sparsity of effects principle states that in a statistical experimental design, only a few effects or factors, usually the main effects and lower order interaction effects are statistically significant, while the majority of others have little or no effect on the outcome. Now, if we go by this principle, then we can ignore the three factor interaction and then we will need 12 less degrees of freedom. So in that case, we will need how many? 35 minus 12. So that is equal to 35 minus 12. And that is equal to 23 degrees of freedom. If we need only 23 degrees of freedom, 
then we will need only 24 number of runs. The question is, which 24 number of runs should we select if we want to evaluate the main effects and second order interactions or two factor interactions. Now that can be decided using the computer generated optimal designs. Let us understand the need for computer generated optimal designs. For this experiment, with 3, 3 and 4 levels for 3 factors, the number of runs is 36, which is still quite large and may be difficult to implement due to budget and time constraints involved. If we can ignore the 3 factor interactions as explained, we will need only 23 degrees of freedom and therefore the number of runs will be only 24 instead of 36. We can try de-optimal designs in such cases. Computer generated optimal designs are a group of the best design points selected when reducing or augmenting the number of experimental runs in the original design. This is as per Minitab. The two possible criteria for obtaining an optimal design are de-optimality and distance-based optimality. As per Minitab, de-optimality minimizes the variance in the regression coefficients of the fitted design model, thereby providing the most precise estimate of the effects. You specify the model, then Minitab selects design points that satisfy the de-optimal criterion for a set of candidate design points. Note, D stands for determinant. Distance-based optimality spreads the design points uniformly over the design space. This method can be used when it is not possible or desirable to select a model in advance. Let us now see how to create an optimal design in Minitab if we are interested in the main effects and two factor interactions only. This means we will need to select 24 runs from the 36 total runs in the general full factorial design which we have generated before. To select the optimal design, we click on the stat menu DOE factorial and select optimal design. In the select optimal design, number of points in the optimal design will be 24. Select optimal design. The terms that we want to include in the model is only up to second order. That means ABC interaction we don't want. We click OK here. In the methods generate by sequential optimization, we will leave to the default choices in Minitab. In the options, we can see the default options store selection indicator in present worksheet and store selected rows of design columns in new worksheet. So we will leave it to the default options. And we can click OK. So Minitab has generated a design with the procedure. You can see the details of the procedure in the session window. And it shows the condition number which it has selected, the de-optimality determinant value. Now this actual value of this uh, determinant is not, we will not be able to understand because it is generated by Minitab using the algorithm. So it says factorial design selected according to de-optimality, number of candidate points 36, number of design points in the optimal design 24, model terms ABC, AB, SC, BC, that means main effects and two factor interactions. Initial design generated by sequential method, initial design improved by exchange method and number of design points exchanged is 1. So in the in the worksheet we can see the actual design that it has selected. Of course it has again randomized if we want to see by standard order we can see stat, DOE, display design and oh okay this is by standard order only. Yeah, it was not in standard order. Now it is in standard order. And the run orders, but this refers to the original design. So these are the standard order numbers selected out of the 36. 
analysis of this design will be done like any other experimental design. There is no difference. But we have created this from the general full factorial design. So some of the output commands or output options will not be available like contour plots will not be available like the response optimizer will be available but it will not have a regression for the interim values. Here is a comparison of classical 2 to the power k fractional factorial designs versus d optimal designs. The table shows the number of factors in the design and the runs for classical designs. Now, as far as d optimal designs are concerned, the lower table shows fractional factorial designs for given factors versus the optimal designs. For example, if we got seven factors, the fractional factorial design of resolution seven will have 64 runs, while as the d optimal design, of course, this will be resolution five, and uh, this will have 35 runs. Or if you take six factors, the fractional factorial design of six resolution will have 32 runs, while as d-optimal will have 28 runs. The benefit of using d-optimal designs will be more if we have more number of factors. Let us do a quick recap. In this video, we have briefly explained the concept of degrees of freedom. We have also illustrated how to create general full factorial design in Minitab when we must choose multiple levels of factors. When there are more factors, the number of runs increases rapidly even for resolution 5 or similar designs. D-optimal designs provide much lower number of runs and therefore less effort and cost and therefore can be considered as advantage especially when the cost and time to experiment is high. Minitab supports creation of d-optimal designs. Sometimes the optimal designs are used when the classical designs cannot be used due to constraints in factor levels. Analysis of the optimal designs can be done with the same procedure as used in full and fractional factorial designs. D-optimal designs generated by computer are not orthogonal in nature and a number of runs at different level combinations will not be equal. So these are not balanced designs. So the analysis of variance will require unbalanced ANOVA. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Quality Engineering.